Hi, today I'm going to explain a film called Earth to Echo. Let's get in. The movie starts with Tuck talking about his life with his two best friends, Alex, a foster child, and eternally awkward Munch. Tuck records everything on a series of cameras to upload to his YouTube channel. The movie is shown via Tuck's recordings. Right now he is recording videos about a construction crew forcing his entire neighborhood to relocate so they can build a freeway. Tuck, Alex and Munch mourn what will surely be the end of their happiness and friendship, as their families go to separate ends of the country. During the last week in their neighborhood, Alex's phone, as well as his family's, begin, barfing, displaying weird electronic signals. Munch and Tuck figure out that these signals only start at a certain point in the neighborhood. At one point men from the construction crew come to give out new phones, apologizing for the apparent electrical short that has caused this. The boys hide their phones. Munch discovers that the image on his phone is identical to a desert 17 miles from the boys. While at school they plan to tell their parents they are sleeping out and ride their bikes to find what the image means. Tuck in a spurt of bravery asks hot girl Emma out but settles for a blank piece of paper to trick his friends into believing that he got her number. That night, Tuck and Alex collect an extremely nervous Munch who has very cold feet. After some convincing they get him to come, telling him it's their last night together before Alex, and eventually all three, move. They bike out into the desert, their phones telling them where to go. Eventually Alex finds a dirty breadbox-sized object. Tuck gets depressed that they came all this way for this seemingly useless thing. Suddenly Alex's phone gets turned onto camera, Munch's phone displays an object and Tuck's phone another map. They follow the map and discover the object. Suddenly it flies onto the thing they found before. When the two connect, small, metallic being comes out. At first the boys are scared but soon discover the being is friendly and needs help. The being, who they discover is an alien, leads them via their phones to a barn. Another metallic object flies out of the barn and attaches itself to the alien's carrier. Each object makes the alien stronger. The boys discover a way to ask the alien yes or no questions. They talk to him for hours and call him Echo. Echo cannot see, so he uses Alex's phone's camera as eyes. Echo gives the boys another map. This object is in a pawn shop. When the boys enter the shop, an object flies around, breaking things. It then attaches itself to Echo. The next object is in a home. When the boys sneak into the home they discover it belongs to Emma's family. They are caught when a metallic object flies around Emma's room. Emma swears not to tell, and then begs to go with them. They turn down her request and follow the map to a bar. On their way to the bar, the construction worker from before stops them and interrogates them on where they have been all night. Suddenly Emma appears, fake crying about these being the friends she needs to help her get her dad out of the bar. The construction worker believes her and leaves. Emma has been tailing the boys and realizes what they have to do. They all go into the bar where the metal object flies around before attaching itself to Echo, causing a disturbance. The next piece is inside a closed arcade. The friends sneak in but the moving of the metal object alerts a security guard. They all run but Alex is caught. Emma goes back inside and uses Echo's powers to confuse the guard before leaving with Alex. Alex is hurt that Tuck and Munch didn't try to help him. He feels left behind and fights with Tuck over this. To cool down, the friends go into a diner. There, the construction worker finds them and uses a tracker to find Echo. He takes Echo and calls the police on the kids. Munch is so angry that he uncharacteristically jumps into the worker's truck. The other kids need to follow him but cannot ride that fast on bikes. Tuck has an idea his brother is at a party and he has a car. They go to the party and find Tuck's brother sleeping in the bath. They take his keys and drive his car to the construction site. They see videos of Munch being interrogated and Echo being forcefully examined. They are caught and used to find the next piece of Echo's ship in a dump since Echo will communicate with them. They do, all while realizing they haven't been building a ship but a key. They manage to run away from the adults and steal a truck which they drive back into their neighborhood. Echo is able to manipulate metal so he drives the truck for them. Echo gives them a map into Alex's backyard. Echo digs a deep hole. Alex follows him down and discovers a ship. Echo is the key. Just before Alex puts the key in the hole Tuck and Munch and Emma come. Tuck says, no one gets left behind. They put Echo in his ship and watch as all of the metal in the neighborhood attaches itself to Echo's ship. Echo flies away safely. Because the construction workers only wanted their neighborhood to find Echo they get to keep their houses. However, Alex and Munch still move. Tuck says that having a friend light years away helped teach them that distance didn't matter among true friends. Everyone thought they were kids, but that night they did something spectacular. They were real adults now. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.